So today we're going to start building the robot. So we're going to first watch a video. We're gonna watch them all together at once, but you and your partner will be watching them at your own pace to help you with the steps. So first you're going to desolder the LED light, resistor, and black wire. And when you watch the video again, it'll make sense. You're going to heat these two dots up and pull out your LED and pull. There you go. Um, I took out the LED <laughs> and I just dropped the LED. <laughs> and you need to strip off about a quarter to a half an inch of insulation on both sides. Wait, but it's not all the way out. Oh, okay. Uh, big, you know, we didn't take it all out. We kind of snapped the motherboard, so we have to take the rest out right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna throw it away anyway, since it's the light bulb and we don't need the light bulb. Yeah, we do. No, okay. And now we're gonna watch the rest of the video to see what we should do next. We um, had a bit too much wire, we, so we put electrical tape over it. It, it really helped. Oh, I can't get it. Okay, there we go. I think we're screwing it the wrong way. Uh -huh. Yay! Yay! This is the light for it to blink. I have no idea what this is. Nor do I. What does it look like? Um, a bug. <laughs> yes. It looks like a CPU, CPU thing oh, for yeah. the computer. What's the rule with these? The rule for those is you always have to have them on because something could go flying at your face and you have protection from that. To show them and then have them be able to do it, give them confidence. Right. Um, you know, and then when they did it, they felt very successful and proud of themselves because I said, you know, this is where I struggled the most. Okay. Will you help me? Yeah. Do you need to watch the video because this is not your next step. Wait, so it's opposite, right? Yes, yes nice job. Wow. Would you mind going back and watching the video and seeing how you place your wires? I see that the numbers are faced up on this side, but face down here. What side do they need to be faced up on and why? And where do the wires go? They go in the, oh. Yeah, and if we bridge that gap, what's going to happen? Then it's in the cover. Yeah, so what side do they need to be facing up? Perfect. And it needs to be how many inches apart? Two and a half. Yeah where the wires go into the motors. Mm -hmm. Keep some of them don't loop them right and so they'll fall out because the the wire the loop should have a little bit of a twist in it so it like pushes against the metal tab on the motor. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a subtlety that's maybe lost on in the video. They rewatched that part about where how to twist that wire. Oh, okay. And that's when he said he goes, Oh, I know what he did. I know what he did. Oh, okay. And so then he was able to and I saw him twisting the wire mm -hmm. to make sure that it went in there. Once the wires got pulled out so now, at, once we've already glued everything together, now we have to try and put the wires back in, which is actually very hard. So, but the problem is it's very loose. We might actually have to oh, yeah, solder or, or, or should we like oh, hot glue it in. Dude. We're gonna hot glue yeah. them in place. Uh. <laughs> that should be good. It's too wide for that hole. Yeah. What's a good solution? Oh, make it, make it. Okay. Show me what you do. All right. I do think that it was really exciting to see the kids kind of go their own way and, and try it. Um, there were a couple of students that hadn't done the wire stripping themselves. They had found other students to <laughs> They had out, they, all this they time they've been outsourcing. <laughs> they've been working with other students to do this. So that I was Creative. like, yeah. so you don't know how to strip wires? They're like, no. I was like, well, how did you get it done so far? And they're like, we gave it to some other kids. Too. <laughs> and the kids Still who want these jobs, you gotta understand, it goes both ways. There's a kid who's like itching to do it. Let me do it for you. I'm like, right. Go right. Well, and I would hope that for those kids that are just like on this racetrack to finish, mm -hmm and then they get to the end and stuff doesn't work, that there's a lesson in that, right? Like, right. I hope they have some time to, you know, 
to make the connection of, well, okay, I didn't pay close enough attention. or Because a lot of them don't get an opportunity to learn like this on yeah. their own, where they're yeah. really responsible. Right. And someone's over their shoulder every second saying, no, wait, that's wrong, you need to fix yeah. that. Okay. So I love the fact that we took a step back today, and I saw some stuff that I was like, <laughs> I know. Okay, <laughs> yeah, go with that. See what happens. I know. I think the, 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 the teacher in you wants to go in and say, "Did you check?" And I'm like, I know. "No, I'm not." Right. Right. Just zip it. Don't but say anything. But I think because we were not saying it, they were watching the videos a yeah. lot more. Yeah. I, was, I, I, I was. I was very happy yeah. to see that. Like, it, like it seriously took some sitting there. It self-control, though. Like, it oh, did. No, it no, did. It did. did. But I think that was that was a good one that yeah. they actually watched it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we're basically yeah. finished with the robot yeah. after this. We're doing programming. Insulators keep things from, from electricity from th flowing through and conductors conduct electricity. I thought it would kind of be easier than this, but I was wrong and I like that. Some challenge. Yeah, it was really challenging and it was really fun too. What, what advice would you give to a couple of kids that haven't made the robot yet but are going to? Well, we would say um, like, try hard. Yeah, don't go too fast. You'll definitely mess up plenty. So, so this looks different now. What did you guys do? Um, before it was facing horizontally, and then we made it so it was vertical. Awesome. So, and it fits together better now, right? Yes. Yeah, it lays flat. Yeah. Awesome. Good job. It says today we made a circuit. Okay, on our switch. What is a circuit? We need to take off the insulation so the metal can complete the circuit. Like when we push this switch, it closes, it, or it hits a piece of metal that closes the circuit and then it can open it too. This popped out. Look, where does that need to go? Where, does, where do your black wires need to go in your terminal block? In the center. In the center, why? Because the center, these are kind of our negative charges and yeah. these are our positive. Those but are the power wires and this is going to tell what the, to Arduino what to do basically, I think. I think. I, I think. have no idea. <laughs> okay, so we've gotten that in. What else? You know, the outer portions of the wire, like the yellow parts, insulation, um, are the res they're basically resistors so that the electrons do not, if, if the wire touches another wire, the, the, the electrons do not flow to that wire and like short out the circuit or something like that, or burn it out. Sometimes it does that, and then there's a thing, and then... Oh wow, well, this is stupid. Every time I show somebody it works, it doesn't work. <laughs> if you try your switch, it should light up, right? It should light up. What does the switch do? Aside from turning it on and off. The switch wouldn't work. It would just stay on the whole time like it is now. Well, we soldered in the wrong spot where the switch was. It was supposed to be right here, but then we soldered it right here. On accident. It'll work when the wires are in there, but when we try to turn it on, it just will stay on. The switch is working. It, well, it closes the circuit because open, it's when it won't work. Solder is like melted metal, kind of, and it glues up metal. other me metal pieces together. It's a conductor because it's metal. Okay, is that good enough? Ours didn't stick we together. It fell apart. It fell apart. Stuck together. Yeah, that's perfect. It's like covering the whole thing. So a motor controller controls like um, the speed and direction of the motor. So how fast it turns and um, like what direction it goes and so forward and backwards. And you can always edit that in the program. Something. Oh, it was working. You saw it like a minute ago. Come on, come on, robot. I'm begging you. It's okay. Look at mine. <laughs> Their eyes always open. Take a picture. Yeah, it's really about to move around. Yeah, it just did.
Yeah. Oh, they're so bad. Whoever likes Dr. Kiki, raise their hand. 